because I am losing my mind. My, my water spilled. I'm hot. I'm tired. Oh my gosh. Maybe skip this tip. What if we all just stopped? Talented, brilliant, incredible. Hi, babies. So I have a few disclaimers. Um, one, this is my mom's camera because my trusty dusty camera decided it just didn't want to. It's not charging, and it like it keeps saying my SD card is full, but it's not, and it won't let me use anything. So my mom. My lovely mother decided she was gonna let me borrow her and her camera's better so I don't know how much you can pick up but I got music playing in the background and hopefully you can't hear it but she has a Canon camera hopefully I get a Canon camera for Christmas but yeah she has a Canon camera um I need to pull up the tips but uh another thing say again with I don't know how much this camera can pick up it decided it was gonna storm so I don't know if you can hear the thunder and all apologize miss whether I want to be bipolar but yeah, we have, let's just get into this video. I got three more to film. Bear with me. So, hold on. Which one? I feel like, okay, fine, whatever. You are introverted or you're shy. I'm a shy extrovert and you want to build your social skills. I will show you how to build your social skills in just eight steps. I wrote them down. So I'm actually just going to have this trusty desk device right here. Um, just want to say something too. I am not like i'm not one of the people who are like oh social anxiety fears them i still get shy i still get nervous whatever but i definitely have seen improvement because i've been working on my social skills since seventh grade and i'm going into 11th grade now and i've definitely seen a huge improvement so i take the tips if i were you but yeah number one practice makes perfect you can't just expect to go outside and just be better if you're shy but like if you just sit in your room talk and it's gonna sound crazy but if you're talking to yourself it'll help just like practicing maybe to some stuffed animals or a wall or just like practice how like you want to be able to speak practicing how you want to talk to others opposed to how you just don't talk right now and like telling yourself that like reassuring yourself like it's okay to have conversational errors Next, st I'm going to talk fast because I don't know how long, this, like, I don't know nothing about this camera. I've never used this camera before. I don't know how long the battery lasts. It's full battery now, but I don't know if that could last, like, the next four days. That could last the next two minutes. Like, I don't know. And I got two other videos to after this. Um, just stop worrying about what others think. Like, it's your life. You're living in it. You should be the number one person in your world. Like, stop worrying about what other people think because I am a victim of that. I constantly walk around and I'm like, dude, like, when I, like, I see people laughing and I automatically assume they're laughing at me. Horrible mindset, but that's what I think. Like, I'll be walking in the hallways at school and I, I see them, like, laughing and I'm like, they're definitely laughing at me. They probably weren't. But, yeah, just stop caring about what others think because nine times out of ten, they're thinking about what you're thinking about them. Because at the end of the day, everyone's, like, wants to know how the world views them. And so, what if we all just stopped? What if we all just stopped worrying about how other people viewed us? And, um, I'm nervous. <laughs> I don't know, I'm nervous to take this video. But, I don't know. It's not important what anybody else has to say or what anybody else has to, like, thinks about you. So why are you letting what somebody else has says or what somebody else does affect how you speak, how verbal you are, or how comfortable you are in a situation? Next tip is start talking to your friends more now listen if you're watching this video you may not have any friends but i doubt that you have zero and if you have zero maybe skip this tip but if you have friends start talking to them more that is something this is something that really helped me was being more like i always had friends my entire life and but I never like I always felt awkward and shy around them but I started getting more comfortable around my friends leading me to be able to be more comfortable around people I didn't know that much and it helps if you're an introvert and you want to be an extrovert because I was very introverted if you're an introvert 
that wants to become an extrovert, something that helps is surrounding yourself around extroverts. Because that's something I did. Most, a lot of my friends are outgoing, and I had this one friend I met this year. Because something that I wanted to work on was my social skills in school. Being able to raise my hand in class and give the answer, being able to talk to teachers, being able to speak up, and I'm still still definitely working on that. Like I still don't raise my hand when I have the answer, but I definitely talk up a lot more in class. And a friend this year helped me go from here to here with that. So just like sur the people you surround yourself with, like make sure they're social because if you're hanging out with a group of people who are shy, nine times out of ten y'all are not gonna break yourself out the shyness because you know someone shy. You can have shy friends. But just make sure you also have friends that are going to help you. Because I have my best friend found out last, like a couple months ago, she's an introvert. But she's the most extroverted introvert I've ever met. She pushed me out of my social bubble so much. Like, I feel so comfortable. Like, when I'm with her in public or something, like, if we're shopping, I feel comfortable. And the reason, like, I was so shocked to find out that she was an introvert, I look at her. When we, like, order food or something, I'll look at her and she'll be like, fine i'll take your order for you i get nervous to take my order because i'm just like i'm start stuttering and i'm indecisive next question is uh kind of on the being with your friends is try to go and get out places just like go shopping with your friends go to the mall go to the pool go to the school events even this that small step of just going to school events because that's something i did i and that's how i met a lot of people too is i like because when i was in elementary school and even middle school I never went to sporting games. I never went to back out like things that were after school unless I had to. Um, and this year, like I try to go to almost everything that's after school. Like I go to the, I try to go to at least one football game a year because you know they be taxing. I try to go to at least I go to homecoming every year. I go to I try to go to the homecoming carnival, um, which is the same day. Doesn't matter. Um, I'm gonna go to prom. I do, I try to go to after school stuff and I try to participate. I didn't write this down, but this can kind of go to participating in school. Like, uh, do things that'll help you get involved with other things. Like, last year I did this thing at my school called Battle of the Classes, art, and I just basically met a bunch of people. I'm not good at art, and that's why I felt like I wasn't wanted in the group, so I stopped showing up to meetings. But, don't be me. You should just go and go out and meet, like, go do clubs, join clubs. I haven't joined a club because... At my school, I, there's not, I'm not really interested in anything that they have, but I think that you should find something, and if there's not anything, still go after school stuff. And just go out, go to the mall, go meet new people. Just like, go do you, be you. And this is a good tip. This is probably one that like I really live by, is never let fear stop you. Any time I leave the house to go hang out, I'm so scared. Like, a fear, like, I have this fear in me that's so strong that I want to just, I want to just say, like, no. Like, when I went to the pool, I was, like, shaking with nerves because that's the first time I've hung out with... Any, I think everybody at that pool except for Angie. That's the first time I've hung out with somebody, all those people outside of school. And I was nervous to meet the girl who hosted her parents, her family. I was like, what if I just canceled? And was like, I've canceled things before, but I don't do that as much anymore because... I'm talking fast because I don't know the battery. I'm sorry, but... Um, you're like... I, I always regret when I cancel. Because you never want to regret things. And every time I cancel, like, doing something with my friends, I always regret it. And you just, why live in regret? And, like, if I would have canceled the pool, I would have won, not had a video to put out. And I had so much fun. So just don't let nerves stop you, because that's how it tends. Once you're in the moment, you're in the moment, you're just going to have fun. Next tip is try to, oh my gosh, there's a freaking, freaking bug. I lost it. Oh my gosh, this is embarrassing. Anyway, thank you. Uh, try to start more conversations. This is, like, something I need to work on. And my, uh, one of my, like, boy best friends told me this. Is I need to start more conversation. Like, he was giving me that advice for, like, a guy. But just in general. Just, like, speak up. Say hi. Just start the conversation. Like, actually, I can start a conversation. I can't hold one. Um, I can be like, hey, what's up? I can walk up to people and be like, what's up? I just can't hold a conversation. Now, I have zero tips on how to do that because I have zero, I don't know how to hold a conversation in the slightest. But, yeah. Start conversations. Don't be scared with people because I know a lot of things that stop me from starting conversations are I'm thinking, oh, shoot, they're not trying to talk to me right now. And I even said this last year to somebody. I was like, if they wanted to talk to me, they would have said something first. That's not true. Sometimes people just like, they don't know how you feel in the moment. So just go up to somebody, talk to somebody. And they don't have to be somebody you know, or they could be somebody you know. But, like, I prefer that you talk to somebody you don't know. 
like someone sitting on a table go talk to them um this is a good tip too of course again i made them um don't linger with people that don't want to talk something that i did like a lot when i was younger is i tried to talk to like the popular kids so much and they just weren't trying to have conversations with me so i always thought oh it's something wrong with me there's nothing wrong with you if people are not interested in a conversation with you do not force one on them because it's gonna be two plus two is four right and five plus five is ten okay what the fuck is this oh my gosh great way to do this be right back i still don't I've been having the worst night ever when it comes to filming. I had one good film. That one makeup video I did, it's not my did. That one makeup I fi video I filmed, bomb, went easy, smooth, nothing went wrong. Everything has been going wrong. First the camera, and actually the video shut off. The, the camera shut off. My water spilled. I'm hot, I'm tired. Anyway, um, last thing I remember was surrounding yourself around people who don't want to be surrounded. Um, that was a whole tip. So yeah, just don't surround yourself around people. I don't remember how much of what caught, but um, I'm gonna talk fast because I don't know this camera a little funky. Don't know how I'm not used to it. <sighs> I'm out of breath. Sorry, that's really sad. <sighs> Find someone that might. And I know the lighting's bad. I saw it when I looked back, and I don't know how to fix that because my. Anyway, <laughs> find someone that makes you comfortable. So me, I have a lot of people that I surround myself with that, like, we're going to restart that sentence. You can have one person or two people or a whole group of people that make you feel comfortable. For me, it's I have people, but it's mainly my best friend and this other girl that I have who's a really good friend, really close friend, really, I don't know how to explain it. She's, like a, she's one of my best friends. And, like, they can just, like, read you. The people that I'm describing can read you so that you're not lying. Like, you can... Oh, it broke you. My night is ruined. I hate, bro. This sucks because of the video I'm about to film. Like, like I'm having a horror tonight. In the video I'm about to film after this is like, oh my gosh, how to be happy. <laughs> oh, I'm losing my mind over here. But yeah, just find someone who can read you. Like my best friend, I try to lie to her, and she's like, don't lie to me. I know you're lying. And like they could, just people who can see like your true emotions so that if you don't want to talk about it you don't have to they can read you and they can tell you what you need to hear and that they're just comfortable to talk to and they help you build your skills and you help them with their stuff and you help them you they help you with yours yeah i'm gonna stop talking because i'm done and i need to take a five minute break in between this video before i get to the next one because i am losing my mind i'm losing it i filmed an entire half video just for it to not work i had a whole thing of water Okay, I'm gonna go before I start like tweaking. Let me make sure it's still recording. You know how good it is. <sighs> Bye.